Good afternoon. Um, uh, my name is Tom O'Reilly. I'm the, uh, in charge of the business development function for Rockwell Automation. We're here at the Rockwell Automation Automation Fair 2019. You can hear the buzz, it's really exciting. I'm here with uh, Wes Sylvester. He's the uh, global director of the industry solutions group at Cisco. That's right. And we're here to talk about the, um, the power of our partnership with Cisco, uh, helping uh, companies on their digital transformation and helping people uh, deal with the I IT, OT convergence. That's right, yep. So I wanna, I wanna start out, Wes. Um, you know, I mean, what's the, what's the value? I mean, what's the, what's the partnership delivering? How are, how are we doing? Well, just give me some high-level comments, what you're thinking. Sure, yeah, I mean, I think the, the most common thing that people see about the value of the partnership is the fact that Rockwell has this strong legacy of knowing the shop floor, knowing the factory, knowing automation. Cisco has a really strong legacy of knowing the infrastructure, the backbone, the reliability, the security. When you bring those two together, that's what both of our joint customers are really looking for, yep. and that's really the value of the partnership is that we combine the expertise on both sides to really provide a true solution. Yeah, I think I do. Um, I mean, I've heard many times from our, our joint customers, our, uh, our OT domain expertise and knowledge, and your IT domain expertise and knowledge uh, has really helped them. Um, what are you the, in terms of the trends of what customers need right now? You know, we're talking about digital transformation. Uh, many times the network infrastructure is the, the first step yeah. in, uh, in what needs to be done and what needs to be looked at. Mm -hmm. Do you think um, a lot of customers are still working on the, that first step of getting the right net network infrastructure in? Are they looking at more what's on top now? Are they looking at security? What, what, what do you see out there? I, so a couple things. I think the first thing is security is top of mind for everyone. Yep. So if you want to do remote access and control to robots, automation systems, troubleshooting, you have to be able to be secure to do that. So that's top of mind. Every discussion that we have is including security now. The other is, thing is that, I think, that, yeah. Let me just, sorry yeah. to interrupt. Yeah. Is that across all industries? Is that pretty common or is that more specific for specific? I think it's industries? across all industries. Okay. Um, mostly high tech manufacturing, discrete production yep. um, industries where they do see a value of really getting remote access yep. and getting outside the four walls of the factory and maybe doing comparisons of different factories or connecting information and data back and aggregating it. That's where security comes in big. The other thing I'm seeing is a trend towards use cases and outcomes. And so for years, we've been kind of jointly talking about how we get to that message yep. and be tighter with that message. I think this year is, is a, that's a key message is that customers are saying now, I don't want to buy an infrastructure and then talk about adding an application on top of that to get to something I want to do. I want to improve my OEE. Yep. I want to reduce my factory downtime. They want the end game and they're expecting security and networking and connectivity and analytics and everything else to be yeah. built into whatever solution we jointly provide them. Yeah. You know, when we, uh, when we found our, our, our partnership 15 years ago, you know, we, we were looking at three kind of main categories. Uh, you know, the, the, the first one was on, you know, around agility with the network infrastructure, the connectivity. Second one was, was around uh, optimizing production yields. And the third was around minimizing risk. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're, um, I mean, we're, where are people at on all three of those and do you think the partnership is delivering on that? Yeah, I think so. Um, just connecting things via IP and really having a lot more things connected yep. gives you some agility. Uh, I think we still have a lot of room to go on agility, yep. honestly. Um, the wireless play for agility yep. is huge for yep. both, both, uh, both of us and both of our partners. And being able to connect and move cells within a manufacturing plant via a wireless infrastructure. We've got customers now that are jointly putting everything connected to a single cell so that they can pick that thing up and move it. The only way you can do that effectively, cost effectively, and efficiently is with wireless. So I think there's a huge opportunity there on yeah, agility side. Wireless, yeah. yeah. I think that you can see that out on the show floor, yeah. the, the security and the wireless. So, um, you know, actually at the, our Connected Enterprise booth, at your booth, uh, you know, we still feature our CPWE, the right. Converged Plant-Wide Ethernet, because that's been a great uh, work, work done together in terms of helping guide our customers right. relative right. to the infrastructure and how they should plan out their, uh, actually start their digital transformation journey. That's right, yeah. Um, and I think, you know, as, this year we're going to look at more industry-specific use cases. What, what else do you think in terms of CPWE? You know, what's been good about it? Uh, sure. What do you think, how does it have to evolve? I think the, one of the great things about it is that it is a, a bit of a template, right? Yep. It yep. doesn't mean you have to do everything in the CPWE document. 
it's robust, as yep. we can both attest to, yep. right? I mean, it yep. is very robust. It is intense. And so you don't have to do everything in that document to be uh, a connected factory or to do a factory process. You can start small and grow into it, or you can take pieces and parts and add to it. So the modularity of CPWA, I think, is huge. And I think the fact that both companies, over the last few years that we've been committed to all of this, is we continue to update CPWE. So it's not a static uh, document that doesn't get updated and, and have a life to it. We work together yep. to make sure that evolve, as new technologies evolve. come yep. and evolve, we just made a great acquisition uh, of Centrio on yep. the security side that will be wanting to add that security, further security story into our CPWE work. So. Yeah, that's great. I think that, like you mentioned, the work that we did on the security use cases, yep. helping the customers understand how, how we jointly can help them solve some of those problems is, uh, was, was really good last year. And I'm seeing really good uptake in terms of what's being shown this year from, from the customers. You know, I'm interested on, on your point though, on the specific industries, right? Um, is there is there significant movement, I think, on your side to say, let's get even more specific, right? You've got some sub-industries, automotive, food and bev, pharma. How deep do you go, right? So I think one of the, I, you know, last year we started to work together around the mine industry. Yeah. You know, many times uh, industries do have unique characteristics, right. unique needs. Um, sometimes they think they're more unique than they really are, but that's okay. Yep, um, we all do. <laughs> uh, but I think that the work, you know, mining with the, the equipment and wanting people to be remote, being in a harsh environment, I think that was a, actually a good adaptation of the CPWE. I agree. To, yeah. to be honest, I don't think it changed that much, but it was adapted in their, into their terms and their, their yeah. vernacular. Right. So that Everybody has it. their own language, yeah. and you kind of have to move things into their language, right? So that makes sense to me. Makes you know, one thing, um, I was at the uh, investor presentation, and uh, actually Pfizer presented, mm. and they talked about the joint work we're doing to actually, one, enable their digital transformation from the, the infrastructure level, mm. but then they actually talked about our joint offerings of right. uh, to, to actually secure what they, what they put in. It was a really simple, powerful message, and uh, I think that uh, I see that uh, in the pharmaceutical and the uh, the life sciences and then the food and beverage industries, I think that's there's there's a lot of opportunities yeah. for us to uh, continue to grow and help 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 those customers. I think security really just allows us to unleash some of the opportunity that customers have been challenged with because they were worried about how do we secure it? If we do connect it, how do we secure it? If we do automate it, how do we secure it? And so. It's an, an enabler, right? Yeah. It, it lets us unleash that opportunity with a lot of yep. our customers. So lots to be done. Lots to you be know, done. We've had a great partnership for uh, for many years. Yep. It's extremely foundational. It's I mean, it's a core element of a, of the connected enterprise and customers digital transformation journey. Yep. And uh, I think we've just scratched the surface of what we can do today. So, I agree. I think it's going to last for quite some time. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, Wes. Thank you for spending the time. Absolutely. Well, thank Thanks, you Tom. very much. Uh, hey, if you have a chance and you're here please go to the Connected Enterprise or the Cisco booth to see our joint solutions together. I think you'll be amazed. Thank you very much. Take care.